Good morning guys, welcome back to Adventure Fits. Uh, as you can see, I'm not in the garage. I am at West London Audi. Uh, they call me in to have uh, a look at another car. So I figured, you know, come in, get a quick hello, good morning, all of that. I love this place, they always have free coffee. So I'm gonna grab myself a mocha. And um, yeah, grab myself a mocha and uh, then I'll get the keys and get onto the job at hand. Um, I'm not going to do too much of a walk around today. Uh, I did one not long ago, and uh, I might do a quick little walk around, see if there's anything nice and new here. Last time I came, there was a Q6 just over there, and uh, I, I walked right past that, I forgot about it. So I'll see if I can find the Q6, I can maybe record what's going on in that. But otherwise, uh, yeah, I've got a job to do here, so do some work and then, um, up back to the unit i've got a ton of stuff going on today right guys so i'm done with my work here um i couldn't really show you guys what was going on but anyway the work here is done now i'm free to roam the dealership now this dealership is absolutely huge uh, i have gone over cars around here and i've done a massive walkthrough uh, i think it was a couple of weeks ago but um i'm not going to do a full walkthrough but there are certain cars i'm going to pick because they're just extra special and i'm starting with this audi a8 so I showed this A8 when I was here a couple of weeks ago because it has the prep for the rear seat entertainment. We'll go around to the back seat. So specifically the rear passenger seat, driver seats over there. And you want to come to this side because this is where the boss sits. Now in here, um, this car has everything. It's got soft closed doors. It's got the rear blinds. It's got the vanity mirror with the matrix lighting. It, this is the matrix lighting as well. You can see so many different bulbs in there. Um, you can position using the screen here. You can position where that you want that light to shine uh, Like I said, it's got the tablet holders here so you can click the Audi tablet and that synchronizes to the car um, But this look how cool this is. So I've got the seat controls here, right? And I've also got memory seat controls here Now, if I press this which is recline press and hold it and now my seat I, You won't be able to see it, but my seats moving forward and the backrest is going back and the leg rest is... And now back. I'm in a laid back, really nice position. I've got loads of leg room. But just in case it's not enough leg room, you know, let's say you're six foot three and you need to really stretch out. You press this button here, lights up red, and then use this control to move the front passenger seat out of the way. And actually, let me just move the headrest down. So, I mean, how cool is this? This is luxury. And I can get that seat right out my way. And I've got loads of leg room now. Yeah, I love this car. This is such luxury. And this isn't even the top model. I'm sure that you can do more on this. Um, on some of these settings. You can get, I think, champagne holders in there. Uh, glass and so on. You can get the kick-out footrest. So there's a special one where it will drop down at the backrest. You put your feet up on it and it massages your feet absolute mental but this is lovely still and of course when it comes to getting out so you just flick the handle a little bit and the seat starts moving back and upright there you go all automatically to let you out and then this big heavy door you can just let it close itself lovely okay so the next car the Echon gts this is one of the new s performance ones where you've got the rhombus separated from the S. Now I showed this a couple of weeks ago and someone pointed something out to me and while I'm here, I wanted to show you guys. So beautiful color, I love the black and red. I'm not a fan of the badges, I'm gonna be honest. This separated rhombus, I don't know what Audi are doing, but someone said something to me yes, uh, the last time I was here and he goes, once you see it, you won't unsee it. And he's ruined it for me, so I have to ruin it for everyone else. If you look at the steering wheel, now it's got that flat top, flat bottom thing. Um, <laughs> he said to me, imagine it, those are the eyes, that's the nose, and that's the tongue sticking out. Now, once you've seen it, it's spoiled. You can't unsee that. <laughs> I mean, it's just sitting there, sticking its tongue out at you. That, honestly, what have they done? It's gone to sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so if you come to West London Audi, you have to come up to this floor. Uh, it's literally up the first set of uh, escalators. So you come up and you're greeted by the nicer cars that Audi do. Um, usually on this floor, they have some really nice models. Uh, so if we go right down to the corner, 
Now these are used approved cars for sale, um, but they're really nice. So we start off with an RS5 Sportback, it's the only way it should be. Yeah, RS5 Sportback, carbon black, 450 brake, 62,000 pounds. And does it say what color this is? I don't remember the name of this color. Oh, there we are, Ascari Blue. This is lovely. Very well specced up, obviously RS, but oh, look at that, no flat bottom. But yeah, this is gorgeous. Carbon fiber everywhere inside it. And you've got the lovely honeycomb design seats with white stitching, Alcantara door panels. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, RS5, moving on. An RS6. Let's see the spec on this. 65,000, wow. Do you want an RS5 or an RS6? Similar money. Daytona grey. The only colour it really should be. Um, unless you can get the matte paint. But yeah, Daytona grey is still lovely. What's the mileage on this? 45,000. This is a bargain. Someone needs to pick this up. Okay, so it's got the silver pack on this. RS6. Interior could use a bit of colour. <clears throat> a bit bland on the seats, but... Obviously, lovely car, RS6, double pan roof. So yeah, the RS6 is always a lovely car to be in. It's not bad spec wise, it's not the best. So this is a 2020 model, one of the first RS6s. Um, it doesn't have the leather dash, it's that squidgy fake leather. No head up display. It's got the heated ventilated seats. No park assist, so yeah, earlier model, but still lovely. Really, really nice car. Okay, next car, RS4. Nice, again, Ascari Blue, 56 grand, mileage 12,000, not bad, 2023 car. This is specced out a bit like the uh, RS5 up front. So we've got carbon twill, um, yeah, the white stitch seats, very nice, no pan roof. I'm not a fan of the silver, but it goes with the blue, so. Next up, we've got an R8. And again, finished in Ascari blue, 115 grand. Seven, or oh, nearly 8,000 on the clock. November 2020 model. Carbon panels everywhere. These are nice. They're nice, it's, I'm not a big fan of the two-seater sports cars. Uh, I'm too practical, family and all of that, but lovely little car, this. Right, what's next? Ah, my type of car, the RS7. Finished in Nardo Grey, 85 grand, six and a half thousand miles, October 23 car. So this is a more modern spec. It's got, uh, oh, I saw this a couple of weeks ago. It's got the grey trims rather than the black. It's not quite silver. The grey trims, matte grey on the window trims. <coughs> yeah, lovely. Oh, this is a performance pack, so it's got the blue bits. Yeah, it's got the blue seat belts, the blue stitching. Yeah, this is the RS7 performance. This is nice. It goes really well. You know, the Nardo grey with the blue. Lovely. Alcantara steering wheel. These are heated. This is what I mean about being a later spec. You get this park assist button. The RS6 over there doesn't have that, and that's how you can tell it's an earlier model. But yeah, head-up display, RS in the instrument cluster. Lovely car. Right, next up, there's an S7. I reviewed that a couple of weeks ago. Basically, the more basic version of that. Rather than honeycomb, we've got the diamond stitch. It's okay. Um, it's basically a three litre diesel. And then after that, looks like an A8. Launch edition, 50 TDI, 42.7, 26,000 on the clock. So yeah, we've got an A8 back here. Pretty standard for an A8. Um, not standard by any means. It's a lovely spec car. Um, but as far as A8s go, yeah, it's... Oh, this one's locked. Okay. They normally lock the cars if the car's sold. Let's see, they left the window open there. 
Yeah, uh, I wonder if I have pulled the door handle, will the alarm go off? I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if they lock the door doors on these cars uh, on the showroom, it normally means it's pre-sold. So let's not mess around with that one. Right, I wonder if I can find me a Q6 around here. Okay, so I've just walked around most of the dealership and uh, they don't seem to have a Q6 on site. Uh, I should have looked at that the last time I was here. There was one then. Um, this is where it should be. The board behind me mentions the Q6. And this is where I saw it last week. Uh, but yeah, it's not there anymore. So with that being said, uh, my work here is done. It's been fun, but I need to jet off. I've got 101 things to do. So I'm going to head out and uh, get back to the office. Okay, so let's get out of here. Uh, this is Audi's fast track service for servicing. Um, so if you have a service booked here at West London, you literally drive down that way. It says service there, arrow in, you just drive up to this, opens up and then you just go in, leave the car right there. Uh, the reception for servicing is right there. So just hang in, go in, hand in the keys and you can leave. Um, it's a really cool experience here, but my car, filthy, absolutely filthy, needs a wash and a clean inside as well. But yeah, right, let's get out of here. Seatbelt. Right. Oh, I did a little mod. Uh, <laughs> so my remote control, I always have it here because it controls the YouTube and my thing, but it always slides around. So now, you see that? It snaps in place. I've put magnets in it and it stays. Even when I go boot it around a corner, it doesn't slide around. So really cool little idea. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that done. Let's uh, make sure no one's coming. Okay. Right, there's loads of cars here. It's so busy here today. Absolutely tons. We've got Q4s and what is that? Oh, just a red A4. Looks quite nice. And the directors, each one's over here on charge. Jeez, they've got cars parked everywhere, even on the exit. Anyway, let's drive back to the unit. Oh, that's nice. The Porsche.